This is the face of a man that just drove eight hours each way to London for a half hour gig. Be careful what you wish for, innit? This is a story about um, how I almost got murdered at a band audition. So uh, I'm 18 years old, really inexperienced. Uh, there was pr really primitive internet, phone technology, everything back then. There was no, like if you were a guitar player, it had weight to it, do you know what I mean? Um, the only thing I'd done was like orchestral pit stuff, churches, sight reading, classical stuff. But my goal was to be in a rock band, yeah? So even the pub band thing was like the coolest thing ever. I just wanted to be one of my heroes that well. So I went on this website called Join My Band. Now in England, Join My Band is an infamous website for time wasters, yeah? So um, if you don't want to be in a band, go on Join My Band. And if you do want to be on a, in a band, go on Join My Band and you can meet other men that don't want to be in a band. Join My Band. Waste your time today. So I went on that website. And there was some guy, we'll call him Fabio, advertising the band. And it's like uh, typical pub bullshit. We play ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Mr. Big, whatever. The typical crap. But that was right up my alley and I was very inexperienced. So I applied and he said, okay, give me your phone number. That was my first mistake. And we had a brief chat and he's like, okay, I'll come down. We'll meet you, see, see if we have any chemistry and then we'll get you to meet the band. Da, 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 da. So I gave him my address. This was my second mistake. So he comes over to my flat in Liverpool. This is Liverpool City Centre. And um, he comes in, turns the light switch on two or three times. Totally normal, average behaviour for the early 2000s. And uh, he goes, right, play me something. And uh, I was nothing. I really well, I could play. I could play and I could read music, but I was nothing. There was no reputation, no image, no... I wasn't touring, I was fucking nothing. So I was just like really intimidated or whatever. Sat on the end of my bed and I played some Eruption and some Aussie. And he's like, oh wow, that's amazing. And without skipping a beat. How come all the good guitar players are really short? Early 2000s, banter wasn't really a thing. It was just like a really off, weird comment at the time. Now I'd love it. I love humour at other people's expense. So I thrive on that because I'm scum. But then it just threw me off. I was thinking, okay, whatever, let it slide. And then he goes, oh, give me a guitar, I'll show you some of my stuff. So I hand over my 90s Gibson Les Paul Studio original dovetail. And he starts playing the most disjointed, erratic, craziest, weirdest shit I've ever heard. And usually I'd say, oh, anything works if you're confident and you kind of know what you're doing. But it was like, it was obvious from his playing that this guy was seriously mentally ill. Like I was watching him play guitar on my bed. And in his mind, he's like sucking on his thumb in a trench in World War Two after he's just watched Johnny get shot in the face by a bazooka. Like, it was, it's hard to imagine, but it was, I was like deeply disturbed by his playing. There's something really wrong with him. Like he was tone deaf, mentally ill, and it, it was, it was, yeah, the guy was fucked. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's go. Chit chat. As we're leaving, turn the light switch off another four times. Like it's nothing. We leave. And as we're walking down to the train station, he's like moving like this whatever and I was like what the fuck is going on what is going on and then I clocked that he was uh, dodging the uh, cracks in the pavement he wouldn't stand on the cracks in the pavement and I was like oh fuck this guy's a real fucktard but this is I was naive then I was like a, a pussy inexperienced with life nothing so I you know, didn't have any courage to be like hey you know fuck off dude or whatever so uh, I walked him to the train station and then he was out my life forever or so I thought um, maybe two weeks passes and I get a message on my Nokia 3210, bing! And it's like, um, the next message is one hour long. And um, I remember listening to it, like the first time I listened to it, not all the way through. And it was long and there was nothing really going on. There was like, sounded like TV and some like mm, 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 chatter. I was thinking, oh, he's pocket dialed me. It's a mistake. I'm a bit annoyed he hasn't deleted my number, but fuck it. Uh, and then uh, I get another message the day later. This next message is one and a half hours long. Same shit noise. And then I'm listening to it. I think I was listening to it with my mate. And he's like, oh, he's chanting. He's chanting. And what it actually was was him being like... <laughs> like fucking speaking in tongues and shit. And I was like, oh, fuck. There's a severely mentally ill man. <laughs> Leaving hour long messages on my phone. Which is par for the course in 2023. But this is like 2001. So uh, I was like, oh, fuck. 
uh, just I just kind of like pretended it wasn't happening. And I remember feeling shame at the time because I was really young and naive. I was like, oh, if my parents knew I'd invited this psycho over to my flat, they'd be ashamed of me. Um, fast forward, maybe three months. Uh, reading a newspaper, that was a thing people used to do. Reading like this before we knew reading was racist. And I'm reading this newspaper, and there's a story, and it was um, a man broke into his ex girlfriend's garage while she was on holiday. And he lived on like frozen stuff out of the freezer. This sounds like my life a couple of years ago. Eating frozen stuff out of the freezer to survive. And then when she gets back off holiday, he attacks her and kills her or something, something like that. I don't know if he killed her, but he attacked her and he was like living in a freezer. Living in a freezer, living in a garage. And who was it? Fabio. So that was the time I could have got murdered by a psychopath for an audition. Uh, join my band is still a thing. It's mostly a waste of time. You need to have a really thick skin and uh, there's plenty of people that are like, I'm the best thing ever. When I was 67, I played a pub in front of three people and my girlfriend said that I looked really good and my jacket was cool. It's full of people like that. But uh, occasionally there will be a professional opportunity on there. Check it out. Join my band. I'm sure most of you already know it. But that's the time I almost got murdered for an audition. See ya.